it's epic quest time! That's right, last year our friend Bruce led us on a super wild adventure full of challenges and competitions. Wild. And this year he's at it again! <laughs> Wait, he is? What does that mean exactly? Epic quest essentials checklist. Elbow pads and knee pads. Check! Check. Knee pads? Elbow pads? Wait, why would I need those? Um, helmets? Oh, check! check. Yes, um. All right. Helmets? Is, is my brain in danger? Guys, I didn't sign up for this. It's okay, Chris. Don't it's worry fine. about it. Okay, iPad for receiving dangerous missions. Uh, I mean challenges. Check! Uh, All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Challenges? Danger? I don't feel so well. Okay, we're good. Let's get started. No, no, Michael. We need to do things properly. Yes, precisely. We need to properly warm up with a game. Okay. Ah, yes, game time. How about we start off with a nice, calm little game of Go Fish? Chris, no! It's Epic Quest. We need something to get our blood pumping. That's right. I got it. Say no more. What? We haven't worshipped yet with the oh. CF Kids. True, true, true. That's very true. Worship is nice and safe. Oh, Chris, <laughs> relax. Just you wait. Epic Quest is going to be awesome. Hey -o. But first, CF Kids, let's get up on our feet and worship. Let's do it. I'm broke 
We've played the game, we worship. What are we missing? Michael, you know we can't start our epic quest until we review a Bible story and share a bottom line. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, bottom lines are like practically the most important part of CF Kids Online. True, yeah. true. That's true. CF Kids will probably stop forever if there were no more bottom lines. It's a good thing that will never happen. And that's precisely why we keep our bottom lines in the golden book of bottom lines, where they'll be nice and safe. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I get it. Well, let's share it already. What's the bottom line for today? Um, actually, I don't know. Melissa? Me? I, I don't know it. I, I thought it was Michael's turn to share it. Uh, no, it wasn't. I, I don't know what's the bottom line. Well, okay, that, that's fine. Let's just look for it in the golden book of bottom lines. Okay. Uh, okay. What would these guys do without me? That's a good idea. Um, Chris, can you get us the Golden Book of Bottom Lines? It's right there in the green cabinet on the top shelf over to the right. Sure thing. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, Melissa? Yeah? I don't see it. No, it's in the top shelf mm -hmm. all the way to the right. That's where it goes. Yeah, but unless it's invisible, it's not there. Um, okay, well, maybe it's in another drawer. Here, let, let me sure. check here. Another drawer? What is wrong with these people? Well, it's not in any of these drawers. What? Who had it last? You did. No, it wasn't. It was Gabby. What? Ah, uh, me? How rude. I'm so organized. Excuse me? I always put the book away. <laughs> not always. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it means, yeah. that you don't always put things back where they go. Exactly. What? You're the one to talk. You always leave things lying around. Yeah, what? like your Skateboard! Wow! Yeah, ouch. What? That was so long ago, and she broke it. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're saying it's my fault now? It's not my fault. I'm saying it's one of you two's oh, fault. What? For sure. Wow. Because oh, I'm wow, the one who wow. always no, cleans up. I can't around. believe we that the skateboard up. was yes. brought up and now. Then you guys are it was a long time ago. You guys throw a board. There is not my fault. My skateboard was here next to the couch. It's not my fault that somebody was walking in with a muffin. Nobody has the time to study the not my fault. By the way, I always put things back. I always put things back. Of bottom lines, then what is the point of even being here? What are you saying? Are you saying you quit Sea of Kids? That's not what I was gonna say, but it is what I'm saying now. So, yes, wow. yeah, I quit. Well, is everybody quitting? No, no, no. Because if that's the case, then fine, I'm out. Oh, no. oh I said it first! What was it? No, 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 fine, I quit too! No! What just happened? They'll be back, right? Michael, Gabby, and Melissa wouldn't actually quit on CF Kids Online, would they? I, I guess it's up to me. I have to find the book of bottom lines and get the team back together.
I've looked everywhere. Where could the golden book be? Whoa, there's a note here. <gasps> what? It says, I have your book, CF Kids. It's the note that says, I have your book. Do you know what that means? That means we didn't lose the book at all. It was stolen. Wait, 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 there's more on the back. It says, I have left you four bottom lines. Only four? That's not enough. If we use these and we can't find the golden book, CF Kids Online, it'll be over forever. I'm here, I'm here. Don't start without me. Danny? Hey Chris, I'm not too late for the awesome adventure, am I? Uh, awesome adventure? I think you mean Epic Quest. And what are you wearing? Well, we have bigger issues anyway. Dude, what's going on? Where's everybody? Do, do you want the short version? Well, today was supposed to kick off Epic Quest. Michael, Gabby, and Melissa quit CF Kids Online. We lost our big golden book of bottom lines. We only have four more bottom lines remaining before CF Kids Online is forever! Whoa. How late was I? Dude, what's the golden book of bottom lines anyways? <sighs> They have names for everything. Game time, worship time, challenge cards, and now there is a golden book of bottom lines? What? Danny, I know you're new around here, but I need you to keep up. The golden book of bottom lines is one of the most important parts of CF Kids Online. It tells us what Bible story and bottom lines we're gonna share with the CF Kids. So important that they've never mentioned it before. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, what did Llama Headquarters say to do? I'm sorry, did you just say Llama Headquarters? Oh, yeah. Danny, what in the world is Llama Headquarters? So clearly it was crazy that I didn't know about the most important thing in CF Kids Online, the golden book of bottom lines, but he has no idea what Llama Headquarters is? Where's Michael, Gabby, Melissa, the true experts around here? It's right here, in the Welcome to the Neighborhood Handbook. Gabby, Melissa, and Michael didn't give you a copy when you first moved in? No, I guess your arrival to the neighborhood was a much bigger deal than mine was. Well, it says right here, in case of emergencies such as disappearing of very important artifacts or team members, call Llama Headquarters. Hmm, that's pretty convenient. Why don't we give them a call? Sure thing. Thank you for calling Llama Headquarters. Your call is very important to us. Please listen to the following menu options. For tickets to this year's Llama Convention, press 1. To enroll in this year's Stop for Llamas 5K, press 2. To check the status of all current Llama space missions, press 3. For catastrophes, such as the disappearance of artifacts and crew members, press 4. For all other inquiries, press 5. Ooh, ooh, press 4, press 4! I don't know, Chris. I'm a little tempted for the Stop for the Llamas 5K. Are you serious? Man, I should have called Llama Headquarters weeks ago. There's llamas in space? Awesome! Danny! Right, right, right. Another time. You have selected catastrophes which include, but are not limited to, the disappearance of artifacts and crew members. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered in the order in which it was received. You are caller. 5,787 in our queue. Man, this is gonna take forever. Llama Headquarters, this is Stephanie speaking. How may I assist you? It's Epic Quest. Uh, the, the book is gone, the team is gone, everything's a disaster. Um, I'm going to need to place you on a brief hold. I have no idea what this guy's talking about. Um, ask him if there are any llamas in danger. I'm sorry about that. Are there any llamas in immediate danger, sir? What? Llamas? No, there are no llamas in immediate danger. Why would you ask that? Here at Llama Headquarters, 
The safety of all llamas everywhere is our top priority. Uh, but I didn't mention anything about llamas. I mentioned that it's Epic Quest. I mentioned that the golden book is missing. And I mentioned that the team isn't here. It's Epic Quest. We need help. Right. Please hold. There are no llamas in danger. What do I say to him now? Um, tell him we'll call him right back. Sorry about the wait, sir. I'm going to have to give you a call back while I check the availability of our llama crisis response team. Please keep your mobile device nearby. Thanks. Bye-bye. Well, that was absolutely pointless. I'm just going to go ahead and ask a really good friend of mine to come over and help. There. Message sent. Chris, we need to figure out a plan. Uh, I have a plan, Danny. I'm going to do some panic aerobics and eat some ice cream. No, Chris, that's not a plan. Dude, we'll, we'll figure this out. Danny! No, we won't! We called the llama headquarters and even they couldn't help us! Oh, yes! It's them. They'll help us out. Alright, go ahead. Hello? Hello, this is llama headquarters with a very important message. Unfortunately, at this time, we do not have any llama crisis response team members available. We will continue to monitor the situation and provide you with updates as we receive them. Thank you. Goodbye. Ugh, you see? I knew we were hopeless. Well, I guess I'll start my panic aerobics now. Hi, Danny. There you came, I'm so glad. Wait, who is this? Is this one of your new neighbors? And what is he doing? Yeah, he's doing something called panic aerobics. Chris, Vera is here and she's here to help us. So do you want us to start looking for the team or for the book? What's the point? We'll never be able to find either one. This situation is completely hopeless. I'm not looking for anything. I give up. That is crazy talk, Chris. Look, on this piece of paper it says, whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. <gasps> no! I was saving those. That was one of our last bottom lines. Who is she? Who, who invited her? I just need to finish my panic aerobics. Well, it's too late now. Bear already used it, but it does make sense. We should remember how powerful God is. He can do anything. What is up with these people using the bottom lines and teaching them to me? Do they not know who I am? That's right, Chris. It doesn't matter how impossible the situation may seem, God is more powerful. We can't keep focusing on the worst case scenarios and everything that's going wrong, but instead let's focus on how powerful God is. And I have the perfect Bible story for this. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> he had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha Here you go. who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So come on. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I don't know. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus, but Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, yeah, will be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping, so Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. 
but even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, The teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus's grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, See how much he loved him? But some said, This man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. You see, Chris, God's power is great enough to do the impossible. He raised Lazarus from the dead after four days of being in the grave. And no one can do something so amazing. And if God can do that, he can do anything. And I know you're worried about your friends and Epic Quest and this book, but you have to focus and remember how powerful God is. How does she know all of this? The situation might be too much for us, but it's never too much for God. Since we are his children, we can trust that it'll all work out. And one thing is for sure, we cannot give up. This is Lama Headquarters. Our representatives are working to locate your missing team members. However, in the meantime, the epic quest that was laid out for you must be completed. Can you state the name of the crew that will complete the challenge? Oh, oh, I'll give you the names. Chris, no one. Chris, there. That'll be Daniel, Vera, and Christopher. Excellent. Now we have an important transmission message from Bruce the Lama regarding your epic quest. Once you have listened to the message, press one for the location of your challenge. For challenges ahead that must be done, none will be easy, but all will be fun. A puzzle piece is hidden in each, put them together, victory in reach. At the end of the quest, you will acquire the object of your greatest desire. Okay, so there are four challenges, and none will be easy. Oh, I can barely... But they'll be fun, Chris. You're focusing on the wrong part again. In each challenge, we just have to find a puzzle piece. Easy. And once we get all the puzzle pieces, we'll get the one thing we greatly desire. The, the book. book! The book! All right, let's get these puzzle pieces. Let's press one already. Wait! What if it's too hard? Chris, remember how powerful God is. Let's do it. Danny and Vera are right. This is the time to put into practice the bottom line and remember God is more powerful than this situation. Let's go. <sighs> okay, 
I'm ready. Press one and let's get that location. I know exactly where that's at. Let's go. Whoa, look. Whoa, that looks dangerous. Oh, come on, guys. We don't know what's on the table. Let's check it out. All right, let's go. All right. Look, it says gear up and get started. Awesome, let's do this. Wow. It? It's Llama Headquarters. Congrats, team. You found your first challenge. Here's what you need to do. Each one of you will need to complete a section. But heads up, only one of you can race at a time. Meaning you cannot complete your section until the person in front of you has completed theirs. Good luck. Awesome. Chris, you started off. Vera, you get the middle, and I'll take this home. Me first? All right, epic quest on three. All right. All right. One, One, two, two three. three. Epic, epic quest. quest. Come on, Come on Chris. Chris. Let's do it. Let's Come do it. On, Chris. Yeah, let's go. You got Chris. Woo. <laughs> you got this, Chris. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah let's go. Next one, next one. Ow. Go, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, Chris. You got this! Woo! Huh? <laughs> yeah. Woo! Come on, Chris, what are you doing? Bro, keep going, what are you doing? It's the memory verse. The kids need it for their challenge. Why is the memory verse here random? Memory verse? Challenge card? What are these things? Daddy did warn me that his new neighbors name everything, but it must be important if Chris stopped his section for it. It says, in this world, you will have trouble, but be encouraged. I have won the battle over the world. John 16, 33b. Awesome, right, Chris. Chris. Get that red one. Keep going, keep going, keep going, let's go. Yes, let's go. Awesome, keep it going, you're doing great. Woo! Yeah, last one, let's go, keep going. Yes, keep going. Woo! Over the moon, Chris, pop it. Yes, use that pencil, use that pencil. Yeah, keep going, woo! Behind you. Yes, white, let's go. Yes! You missed one! Greg, you missed one! Go back, go back, you missed one! Yeah! <laughs> the big one, not these two, these two! These two right here, Greg! Yes! Keep going, keep going! Oh, Woo! Yes. Yeah! All right, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Yes! Woo. Come on, Vera, you got this! Go, Vera, go! Yes! All right, keep going, keep going! Oh my gosh. Yes, let's go! Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know if I can do this. This water looks cold. You got, you got this. Go, 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 you got this. Go. Let's go. Oh my Don't be nervous. It's okay. a little bit of water. You okay. got this. All right. Yes, oh, let's go. go. Next right, one. Next right. one. We don't get all day. Let's go. Oh my God. Guys, this water. Yo, just get, get, get on it. Let's go. We don't get all day. Let's go. Oh my God. Let's go. <laughs> just get. Come on, Vera. Let's go. All right, Vera. Last one. You got this. You got this. Come on, Vera. I don't think I can do this. It's too unstable. This one is super scary. Oh, no, you got this. Oh, you got this. Let's go, Vera. Come on, Vera. You can do this. Pull yourself together. Remember the bottom line you told Chris. Whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. Come on. Vera, go. Vera, go. Ah. Vera are you OK? Oh, my God. Vera, go. 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 Vera, are you OK? I can't believe this. I fell in the pool and the water was freezing. Oh my god! I can't believe that just happened. Okay, no, no, that is powerful. We got this, we got this, guys. Thank you, let's go. Woo. Come on, Daddy, you got this. Let's go. Straighten it up, Daddy. Straighten it up. Come on, Daddy, to your left. Let's go. Thank you, come for it. Come on. Oh no. Turn the wheel. Bro, bro. Almost there! The Get back in the wheel! Almost there! You're gonna miss the boxes! Oh, oh. 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 Alright guys, help me find the puzzle piece! Man, that hamster wheel was super hard to turn. I'm still a little dizzy. Nope. Nope. 
found it. Yeah, you found it. Yes. Yes, you got it. Good job, guys. I did it. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Good job, guys. Oh, wait. That's so cool. Llama headquarters. Congratulations. You have successfully completed your first challenge and acquired the first puzzle piece. I am also pleased to announce that we have located your missing team member. The first is at... CF Kids, you've got a lot of challenges this month. But it wouldn't be an epic quest without an epic challenge card. The prize will be epic too, so don't be a lazy llama and get to completing the challenges. Number one. Watch all four episodes of the Epic Quest. Number two, watch the Good Friday episode. Number three, memorize your memory verse. Number four, subscribe to the CF Kids Miami YouTube page. And finally, number five, invite your friends to the Easter services. Join the epicness and complete seven out of the eight challenges.